we're opening uh, around value area low from yesterday and uh, still fairly in balance but uh, we are having lower highs on the daily so this is the significant change we had uh, with relation to previous week uh, yesterday we did uh, clean the lows with a failed breakout lower and got back to value so this would normally target the opposite side of uh, of this balance range so now if we don't reach it it is telling so and it and uh, attempts below mm, value area low or yeah value area low uh, would indicate further weakness mm -hmm. overnight inventory was uh, long not not long ago it started uh, tra trading lower it was I think in the middle of European session and now is balancing but uh, below uh, settle so I think that that inventory uh, got corrected and now uh, inventory is slightly short but it is not that uh, telling on uh, any side so no no real info uh, from this uh, anyway if if uh, if I if I think about uh, today's scenarios, then uh, situation is real, really mm, similar to yesterday. Um, if we break above daily low, then we might uh, trigger some cascade uh, stops, and then we will be targeting all-time highs and if we start trading well basically below uh, value area low from yesterday then we will be challenging those uh, those targets those uh, areas below and given the inventory uh, for those four days I think that we might see uh, potential bigger move this range is from let's say uh, 75 to 20 which is 45 points so give or take another 45 points uh, would place us around uh, 35 uh, 30 f yeah so this is uh, another zone I have marked here mm. so if we make an early move lower I'd be willing to take shorts uh, from overnight well not from yesterday's pullback low targeting first overnight low then yesterday's low and lower I think that we might see some bigger move to the downside uh, I'm not sure if I can enter long on, on an excessive move here first if we clean overnight low but fail to uh, to go to yesterday's low that would be a potential opportunity to get long targeting back to the middle so yeah this is uh, this is the probably the only long scenario I will be willing to take early on and if we fail around yesterday's high then yeah I, I'd also take another rotational trade back to the middle uh, higher than that mm, really not sure if, if this is uh, rotational so uh, I think that we might see a trend day down or a liquidation which would give us a B-shaped profile or even with a s stem from the lows we 
we can also trade higher but I'm not seeing this break higher I, I don't know why I have this bearish bias with me today uh, maybe because of this uh, lower highs pattern mm. anyway it is a possibility so I, I should just count this as well well uh, if we start squeezing higher then we we might see P shape with a late day spike to the, to the upside and basically uh, all possibilities are uh, within today's reach we can have a double distribution uh, with uh, this uh, as a separation mm. I one one thing I have to point out that I am uh, again uh, trying to follow too many uh, different uh, sources too, too many different stuff trying to be on time and this is consuming too much of my mental energy so f starting from next week I need to trim a lot I need to really trim my uh, basically distractors so uh, I can stay uh, truly focused on what's uh, what's the most important which is uh, day trading yes and journaling with with statistics